Yo, 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 I knew you'd come. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. You know what it is. The real one, always 100. Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club coming to you with an NBA main slate video. Guys, sorry, I wish I can get these out earlier. I'd probably get more views. But, you know, real life, you know, I got to play husband. And draft dashboard don't update until about now, um, which is which kind of irritates me a little bit because he's It'd be, it'd be perfectly fine if these games started like normal, you know, in the late afternoons. But they start first thing in the morning. So I do apologize for the time of release of these things. But uh, I'm doing the best I can, y'all. But I got um, Twitter messages from someone who took down. Won a thousand bucks. Um, I'm not going to show their, you know, if you want to show their lineups, that's up to them. I'm not going to show you their lineups, right? Um, three and oh, three and oh, in these playoffs, man. I mean, I'm telling you, we're in the zone, and I say we, I do mean we, because you guys have been on it with those comments down below. Um, if you're new, welcome, hit that subscribe button. I cover MLB, MMA, and of course, NBA. We got NFL coming up in a couple of weeks. I mean, if if people are tr are building winners, I mean, takedown winners just from my videos, just imagine how much you'd be winning with the DFS club, guys. Let me show you what I did today. Uh, I'm showing you my fan duel. I'm not going to show DraftKings anymore. Uh, having issues with them, you you know, they're not the best uh, best company, but we did win with DraftKings, uh, both my lineups, and then fan duel. Uh, got a 297, so it was kind of a low-scoring slate, which is fine with me. And then I did my other one, so both my Fanduel lines cash. And then I did a a uh, what was this the the afternoon slate only? Almost, I was looking good for a takedown for a while, for a while. But then Jalen Brown didn't, you know, he only got 30. I mean, it was looking good early. Monty Morris, I didn't trip off of. He was highly owned. Tatum was was like 90% owned. I had Embiid. Um, a lot of the people that were in first had Jokic, so I needed Embiid to really go off. And then uh, Jeremy Grant just absolutely killed me, man. Killed me. But, hey, I'll take 14th place, uh, uh, large GPP. So we're 3-0, guys. That's all I can say. I personally am 3-0 with the lineups I dropped in the DFS Club. www.dfsclub.com. Come join the family, guys. Three providers in one. You got DFS space. You got myself, Skywalker DFS. You got the DFS whispers. You get every single sport, everything. You get NBA, NFL, MLB, KBO, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, WNBA, guys. Every single thing. College sports, when they decide uh, to come back, the players want to play. It's these damn coaches. Bunch of babies. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. We want our college our college football. Come on, guys. And come pick your plans, guys. We are the cheapest in the industry. Again, shop around. I encourage it. Nobody's wins as much as we do. Space, DFS space, and myself both cash nicely today. Um, DFS space be killing it, too, on those props. You know what I'm saying? Um, you get all that, guys. You get the whole shabam. Come check us out. The best in the industry by far. And again, if I get messages on Twitter from viewers that are taken down, just imagine what we're doing in here, right? So come get it, guys. www.dfsclub.com. So as far as injuries go, um, I guess Jay Crowder matters a little bit. But again, it's another slate where we don't know if Aaron Gordon's going to play. So We'll see what happens. We'll see what other than that, it, it's pretty cut and dry. So right off the bat, because I've forgotten my MLB video, shame on me. Shame, shame, shame. Um, very tilted on MLB, but I'm fine now because I'm talking about NBA, which I'm weather is never a factor. It's inside. This is Draft Dashboard. It's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys. It has... You get all my save lineups, all my player pools. You get the player trends. You get the optimizer, the best optimizer on the planet. Um, uh oh, we're having wildfires all around my house. Look at this. 
You guys hear that? Right in the middle of my video, I'm getting an evacuation order. An evacuation order due to due, due to fires in Santa Clara County, which is where I'm at. Fuck it. I ain't going nowhere. It's right here. You guys probably can't see it. I just got it. You guys can hear it. Go on live. You know, I don't edit my videos. I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to stick it out. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> We're going to get this bread. I ain't, I ain't evacuating shit. All right. So, and you get the NBA cheat sheet because if you can't win, cheat. It's got the best studs, best top tier, best value, guys. This is draft dashboard. It's only $1 for 30 days. All right. So, let's go to the position optimizer. And let, let's start at, yeah, fuck it. Let's start at point guard. You know, it's been good luck for us, right? So your top option here, as far as pricing, is James Harden. He had a floor game last game, which is, you know what? It's kind of expected. Um, OKC says defensively, they're really freaking good against guards. You know, they figured them out. They're going to double, triple team them, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Not my first option in this video. Last time he was, probably not my first payup option. So you're either going to go stars and scrubs, which I don't know if we can pull off. Um, but we could, depending on the Aaron Gordon news. Um, I've been doing more of a balanced approach, guys, and I've been doing really good. It's easy to do. On FanDuel, though, is a different story. FanDuel, you can throw like three, three stars in there and still fit mid-tier players. I'm starting to love FanDuel more and more and more. DraftKings can go, you know, you know what DraftKings can go do. That's just horrible, horrible, horrible people. Um, next up, I owe this man an apology. When I'm wrong, I'll admit I'm wrong. It's not that I say that I didn't don't play him, but he was my fourth favorite son. LeBron James went out there, got 41 minutes, scored 72 fantasy points, and took a loss, right? So, I was wrong. He don't need fans. Now he's inspired. His team got their ass whooped on national television to the eighth seed, right? Held them under 100 points total. You're going to get LeBron James 2.0, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to come out there with that old man wisdom like I got. And I would not be surprised, honestly, if he gets 90 fantasy points, I would not be surprised. If he's, he's going to sit there and say, if I have to lose my damn self, I'm going to go out there. And I'm going to do it. So LeBron James, with that going, is probably my favorite payup option of the slate. And I'm giving it right there at 10-9, guys. That's probably where I'm going to go first. I mean, 72 fantasy points on a losing effort. LeBron, I apologize. I apologize. Next up, CP3, Chris Paul. I love this play, too. If you want to start here and go for just a balance lineup, um, 8K. This Carlton looking, I, I love CP3 though. 37 minutes, 51 fantasy points. Not bad, right, for an 8K player? I'm looking for about the same because we all know Shea Gill Alexander is absolutely utter garbage, right? He is. He just, since he's been in the bubble, this isn't a new thing. This has been since they've been in the Disney bubble. So I'm going nowhere near that man. Nowhere near that man. Maybe till next season. We'll see. But CP3, these guards, these OKC guards, he's my number one choice at 8K. CJ McCollum at 7'7 seven, seven with, with Dame? No. Now, Malcolm Brogdon, I love too because um, Oladipo, I think he's going to be out. If Oladipo's out, I love Brogdon here. So if you want to do a Brogdon CP3 bounce, you know, way i wouldn't blame you at all because brogdon should get 40 minutes again um had a bad game and still had 41 fantasy points so not too bad i went aaron holiday which stopped me from a takedown i cashed nicely but if i wouldn't have played aaron holiday i would have taken it down very easily he only played wait till he gets to me i think he only played like 16 minutes i have no reason i don't know why but they gave it to some bum off the bench and yeah he must have pissed off the coach, but Brongham at 6'9", get him in there. Next up, Gordon Dragic, this tea and crumpet eating mf for here. He's 5'9", right? Still too cheap. I don't think that'll draw any ownership away. He's 
a must play for me. 34 minutes, 43 fantasy points, and he got off to a slow start. I'm, I was one of those people who told my members of the first quarter, I was like, God damn it, Dragic, you're going to burn us. And then he goes out there and gets us 43. And he was cheaper. He was, he was a, what, 4-9 maybe last late? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think he was 4-9, but Golden Dragic, get him in there. Sound like a goddamn Lord of the Rings freaking character. Next up, I might give Eric Bledsoe another shot here. Again, Milwaukee's going to be tilting. They're going to be angry. Um, and, you know, Giannis is going to be angry, too. But 5-3 for Bledsoe, I know his upside. His floor, he had a floor game. He had 29 fantasy points in only 27 minutes. This whole, this this game right here, Milwaukee, Orlando, there's just so many mouths to feed. Like, it's hard to get this one right. I might fade this complete game and feel pretty good about it because I know a lot of people are going to go to Vooch because of his last performance. Automatically, I already know that before I even see the ownership. People, people chase, people chase, and they chase, and that's how you lose, 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 right? Um, but we're going to stay consistent, and we're going to go with what we know. 5-3 Eric Bledsoe is way too cheap, so I'm willing to give him a shot at 5-3. Next up, Fultz is considered too, 4-5. I really like that price. 30-point club, guys. You know what it is. When making your rosters, is that player going to get you 30 fantasy points or more? If you're not 100% certain, do not roster him. That's it. That's the key to winning. It's that simple, all right? Bolt should be, will be a part of the 30-point club, guys. He got 30 minutes last game, got 28 fantasy points. That's a bad game for him, too. So get him in there if you want a piece of this game. Like, But, you know, like these George Hills and, and those bums, just stay away. Just don't, don't, yeah, you don't need to go there. DJ Augustine, you don't need to go there. Just go for Fultz at 4 or 5 $200 more. Next up, Dennis Schroeder. I'm willing to give him another shot. He just This is the cheapest I've ever seen him. That's the tempting part. He's only 5'5". Five five. I've never seen Dennis Schroeder 5'5". Five five. Um, played 31 minutes, just had a bad fucking game, right? 11 fantasy points. Before that, he played 25 minutes and got 27. So 30-point club, Dennis Schroeder. Get him in there. But I guarantee you his ownership will be through the roof with that price. But then again, maybe not because he had such a bad game with 11 fantasy points. But I still cashed. Shit, it happens. All right. Yeah, where's where's this guy? Where's Aaron Gordon at? Or Aaron Holiday? Here we go. 4K. To, yeah, he played 16 minutes. He's officially on my shit list. He does not make my lineups, guys. We don't need to. Even with Al Depot out. Let's go to shooting guard. Um, Jimmy Buckets, man. Singing that Hall and Oates song in those commercials while he's packing up. I, I still love that commercial because um, I love that song. Fun song. 7-9. Still too cheap. Why is Jimmy Buckets under 8K? I don't know, but I'm not complaining. 36 minutes, 49 fantasy points, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you get out of a, what, 9K player? So Jimmy Buckets, get him in there. These Miami guys, these starters, just, just fire. Fire them up. Let's see. Kendrick Nunn is just completely off the rotation. He must have really pissed in someone's cereal and got on someone's bad side. That's all I can say. Like, these Terrence Rosses, like, I'm not chasing this shit. Like, I'm not going to risk it. I don't feel good about it. I don't feel like they qualify for the 30-point club. Tyler Hero is interesting at 5-2. Looks like they're trying to give this kid uh, some run here. He's got 33 minutes last game. 26 fantasy points. Now, I know when his shots are dropping, the dude's money. The dude is freaking money. His floor is about a 22. So, last five versus Indy. 26, 22, 29, 32, 27. Tyler Hero, 5-2, especially with those uh, balanced lineups. He's definitely worth the look. I think he's 30-point club caliber. What do you guys think? Next up, Eric Gordon with no Westbrook. I don't know. He showed me something. He did show me something, and I don't think it's chasing and not at 4-9. 30 minutes, 31 fantasy points. Him and Jeff Green really showed me something in that game because when the playoffs come, pressure's on. I like to see this. So Aaron Gordon, or Aaron, Eric Gordon, 
at 4-9. Get him in there, guys. That's good value. Like, you know, who are these bums down here? Edmund Summers, where the hell is he at? Yeah, here he is. So they started him, and they played him 27 minutes. He got 13 fantasy points. Why? Why would you do that, coach? I don't know. Aaron, I mean, Jesus Christ. You know, the Holiday Brothers never catch a break. That's all I got to say. Let's go to, let's go to small forward. I know what it's like. I'm the same way. Uh, Dano Gallinari. what I tell you all? OKC does not play any defense, especially against these guys. Small forward, power forward, eligible. He's jacked up to 6'6". Six, six. Now, that's, that's going to draw some ownership off. 33 minutes, 40 fantasy points. I think we get about the same. I think we do. Great history against Houston. 40, 45, 48 in his last three. Dano at 6'6". Six, six, I think the ownership will be low. Great GPP look here. Most definitely. Let's see. Covington at 6K. No. Carmelo Anthony. Ever since, another one, ever since they've been in the Disney bubble, he's been going off. Right? He, this man thinks he's 21 years old again, and God bless him. He's only 5'9", played 37 minutes, got 37 fantasy points. This is a no-brainer to me. And not because it's a fluke. He's been doing this since they've been in the bubble. So, get yourself some mellow at 5-9, mellow yellow, or whatever the hell that shit is called. But, uh, yeah, get him in there, guys. God bless him. Next up, James Ennis, and his ownership was so low. I couldn't believe it. I was smiling like the cat that ate the canary. 31 minutes last game, 31 fantasy points, and I believe he was only like 3-3. Three, three. He's up to 4K. Um... If, if if Eric Gordon's out, just plug and play him. Get him in there at 4K, guys. That's great value. Definitely 30-point club here. I do not think it was a fluke. He's just been solid. He's been solid in the bubble, guys. That's what you got to pay attention to. Some of these guys just aren't doing good in the bubble. And I don't know what it is. For, for a minute there, I thought it was no crowd. But I don't know. God knows. Gary Trent, man, I've been I was playing him during the regular season. He was doing good. He gets 30 minutes a game, but damn, dude. Eight fantasy points at 4-8. Nah. So don't you dare be sour. Clap your hands and feel the power. Let's go to power forward right now. I ain't evacuating no nothing. I don't see no fire out there. All right. So Giannis Santi Pupu, 11 3. So he's gonna come out. With a vengeance after be also being embarrassed on national television. 65 fantasy points ain't going to cut the mustard at 11-3. You want at least 70 or 80 fantasy points if you're going to pay 11-3 for somebody. Is Giannis going to do that? I don't know. So since I don't know, not my top payup option. But definitely worth consideration. I already told you my top guy is LeBron. All right. Next up, Anthony Davis at 10-5. 10-5, again, you want probably 70, realistically about 70 fantasy points, right? He's done it to Portland before. He got a 78 against them two games ago. So, I mean, if you want to stack LeBron, AD, and then fit these other guys in here that I give you, you should be able to, no problem. So, AD over Giannis, it's tough, but I think just AD and LeBron got something to show. I don't think they took that beating they took um, lightly. So, Anthony Davis, get him in there at 10-5. You said Nurkic is only a play for me. Sorry, Nurkic. I don't want to offend anybody out there. Fucking snowflakes. Um, Nurkic. Fandle only. So, he's 9K on DraftKings. But if we go over here to Fandle, I think it's only center eligible. You said Nurkic is only 7-7. Seven, seven. He's cheaper than Vooch. Give me some Nurkic at 7-7 seven, seven on Fan, FanDuel only, guys. But let's go back to DraftKings. DraftKings, I'm going to pass. Nothing against them. It's just I'm going to use that salary to pay up for two studs. He's not one of them. Not on DraftKings. Not at 9K. But he's the, he's he's a good player. 33 minutes, 40 fantasy points. 
Again, we know his upside. He's been playing like he's been reborn after coming back. And God bless him. That was a nasty injury. But, yeah. A lot of people on TJ Warren this late? No. Nah, not for 8-1. No way. Ain't no damn way I'm paying 8-1 for TJ Warren. So let's just move on. Um, let's see here. Gary Clark. Clark Kent here. So if he gets to start again, again, we don't know what's going on with the injury, right? Got 28 minutes, 27 fantasy points at almost bare minimal. You got, that's just so hard to pass up. If he gets a start and Gordon's out, guys, yeah, I'd say get him in there at 3-3, especially if you're going to do two studs. Um, 30-point club, very close, very close. I mean, you could go out there for 20, 29 minutes and only get 15, but Gary Clark's been around the block. You know, he knows what it, he wants to win too. So, yeah, I really like these. Uh, as if you haven't noticed, I really like these veterans when it comes to playoff situations because they've been there, done that. So let's go to center. All right. So Vucevic, I'm going to let others chase that. 8-8, eight, eight. Um, 62 fantasy points, 36 minutes. That's rare, especially in a tough matchup against Milwaukee. But I mean, the price hasn't changed. For me, I'd say do it. But I know the ownership's going to be insane. I already know it. People are going to chase it. And I don't want Chalky Vucevic by any means. All right? There's other centers to, to be had, like AD. I mean, you can put AD in power forward and then pay down at center because I have some center values here. Bam out of Bayou at 7-5. Won't budge. 34 minutes, 46 fantasy points. I'd say look for a very similar outing. It's very similar. His minutes probably may go up a little bit, but he probably get you a 50 burger, guys. Bam out of Bayou at 7-5. Get him in there. Next up, Aquaman. Another one of these veterans I'm talking about. Right? You got 27 minutes. I think his minutes will go up. 36 fantasy points at 5-6, guys. 30-point club. Get Aquaman in there. And just move on. White side, I mean... He's he'll get in foul trouble. He's not going to get you there by scoring like he was without Nurkic, right? He's you got to depend on blocks, steals. I know he led the league in blocks, right? Or he was tied with somebody, but it's risky. It's very risky, but it's not a bad play, but it's not a good play, if that makes sense. So I'm going to pass on White side here. Uh, I'm going to pass on Brooke Lopez. I'm really going to pass on Miles Turner. Six eight. Get the freak out of here. DraftKings, you are tripping. 6'8", Miles Turner? Yeah, right. Now, Jeff Green, like I was talking about earlier, 4'8", 32 minutes, 39 fantasy points. You're not really risking much here, right? The only thing I don't like about it, he's only center eligible, but you can always put him in DraftKings. You can put him in your utility spot. So if you really want to pay down at center, I think Jeff Green is 30-point caliber fantasy. 30-point club caliber. There we go. Probably uh, too much smoke inhalation going on right here. <laughs> but no, guys, seriously, it's like 2 in the morning. And, yeah, I'm trying to get this video out quick so you guys have time to view it before the early before the slate starts. But Jeff Green, 4-8. Get him in there. All right? I think he's still solid. I don't think it's chasing. And that's going to do it for the picks, guys. Not that bad. So we went through 21 watch players. Um, again, I've been dissecting this slate all day, so we got value, we got mid-tier, we got our studs we like. My favorite stud is LeBron James, number two is Anthony Davis, number three, James Harden, all right? Um, and then you guys know what to do from there. Stay the course, right? Stay the course. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's how I'm looking at it. I'm not going to change my course. And that's it, guys. Well, we'll get we'll, we'll use the, the lineup optimizer. But first, don't forget www.dfsclub.com, guys. Come join the family. Again, if, if you guys are, are taken down just by viewing, just imagine what you do in the club. And you get every single sport. You get NFL in a couple of weeks. All in one. Everything. Every team. All right? Come get us. I mean, I just got an email, too, from another member who's been a member for about two weeks. 
And after having like one of the worst days I've had in a long time, just totally made my day. Shout out to you, my friend. Thank you so much for that email. I did respond. Um, that that lifted me up when I needed a lot of lift ups today. Um, just one of those days. We all have them. We all have them. So let's go back to draft dashboard and let's go to the uh, the optimizer. Everybody's favorite tool with draft dashboard. And let's see what draft dashboard has to say about the matter here. Let's try it again. There we go. So you can also do a, a cash lineup too, right? Playoffs, I'm just doing GPP, so I'm not playing cash games. Um, so when you do this, also it gives you my player pool, so you get all my watch players, all your watch players, and who draft dashboard thinks you should play, right? So this right here, so we got LeBron in this lineup here. This looks really good. So I will save this my draft dashboard members, and this is a free lineup for you, sponsored by the DFS Club, guys. Gordon Dragic, Schroeder, Butler, Dano, Gary Clark, Fultz, LeBron, Bledsoe. I mean, there's all we can always, you know, improve it, whatever, but DFS Club, only you guys will get my lineups. All right. Um, so the contests, right? Those of you that waited till the end of the video, today's task, today's mission. You guys, this is a secret mission, okay? Um I'm giving away $25 this Saturday night. PayPal, cash money, sponsored by myself, Skywalker DFS, and Schroeder Skywalker. If you don't watch my MLB videos, he is my cat. He gives you his home run calls. All right. So let's do this for today's contest. You got to follow the instructions. This is your mission. You got to be a subscriber. Not to the club, but just to my channel. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And in the comments, who is your favorite, not pay up, who is your favorite value play on this slate? All right. So subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Who is your favorite value play on this slate and why? All right. Because you guys help me just as much as I help you. So there you go. Good luck to you. So every video you watch of mine, every comment you put, the more chances you have to win. And like I'm saying, the more my channel grows, the more the DFS club grows, these prizes are just going to get bigger and bigger because I love to give back, okay? And and they're fun. Contests are fun. So that'll do it, guys. Let's get it. Let's go 4-0. Let's go on both sites. Because let's face it, FanDuel's not easy to cash an NBA. I figured that out, but I found my niche, so it's all good. Let's say a prayer. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. Um, God bless your friends. God bless your neighbors if you like them. God bless the people around here who are suffering from these wildfires. Where we go one, we go all. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. I live and die by that. And trust me, I've gotten a lot further in life, guys. Don't be a doormat. Plus, the ladies don't like doormats, all right? And the ladies that are watching, you know you know what I'm talking about. So, all right, y'all. I love you so much. It's 2.30. I think I got to get up in like five hours for the, for the actual slate. So, I love you very much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just so humbled by the views, the comments, how much my channel has grown, how much the club has grown, and we've overcome COVID. All right, we got all our sports back. That's real talk. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Good luck.